Hi. Hi everyone. So today we're going to learn how to draw a square thread. Uh, the first things we need to know is what our text is telling us. So right now the, the first number we see is our major diameter. That's the diameter of the overall thread, overall bolt. The second number is our pitch and the description is a square thread. In this particular uh, text I've also just added that it's three inches long. Okay, so let's start with making our overall uh, rectangle for our square thread, which is 1.5 vertically, three inches long, and again, 1.75 vertically, and then we just attach it here. I'm gonna move this box a little bit to there. All right, so we have our overall box. Now we know that the pitch is one over whatever number is here, so it's one and a half. But for our purposes, we need one half pitch. So pitch divided by two. Pitch divided by two would equal a quarter. So we do a quarter. So we know that from here, we're gonna go offset 0.25. And then we're just going to do that. Do it a couple times. And then the top is exactly the same as the bottom. So we're just going to copy that to the top. You can mirror it, copy it, whatever you like. Then we're going to use a line. Going to go from corner to corner. I'm going to copy this line. You can copy it, offset it, whatever you like. Now we're gonna have to do our mi minor diameter, which is a quarter down. So you use half P again there, and then you also do half P here, this point to five. And these two lines represent our minor diameter on the inside. We won't need this anymore so we can delete it. And now we have to decide how we wanna proceed here. So we're gonna take that one out, trim this, and then trim every other one. Okay, uh, we don't need our guides on the bottom anymore so I can delete those okay we also don't need this one right here start deleting this start deleting that one this one so now you have basically the top and the bottom there okay we do need this one here. All right. Okay, so now what we have to do is picture this cylinder going around on the other side. So this corner will attach to that corner down there. And then this one will attach to that one over there. So picture this rotating around to the other side and then coming out here. So the only things that we would see on the straight on view would be that portion there and this portion here. And then you can delete the other stuff. Okay. And then another thing that we have to do is we go here from here to here vertically. And then from here we go to the midpoint of our thread, which is right here. And then we want to trim this right there. We want to delete this vertical line. <clears throat> and then we have this. So this gives it more of a three-dimensional look to your thread. And the same process you need to do below on the bottom. So we do that. We go from here to the middle. And then trim 
and delete. Okay, and then we just copy. Always copy the lines so you know that everything is the same as all the other ones. Right we'll click copy. So you go from there to there, from there to there. All right, and then I'm also gonna copy these lines here so I can go all the way down the screw. Okay, and now we just have to trim away. So you trim the lines you don't need. <coughs> all the lines you don't need uh, right here don't need that line don't need that line did I miss something here yes so I missed copying this line over on the bottom there so like I said always copy never create it again just copy it and make sure it's the same line of the one you had before. <coughs> there now that makes more sense. Okay. And there we have our thread. Now let's put a end on it. So I'm gonna go here. Oh, I have to trim these lines up here. Okay, and there that is, and now I'm going to put an end to it, so I'm going to make a box, like this, and notice how the end is on an angle, okay, and now I'm going to put a center line here. And I am going to do show the end as a metal. So I'm going to do a spline. I'm going to go from there to there. I'm going to make my spline a little larger. And then I'm going to mirror it up. And mirror it vertically on this line. Right there. And I'll get rid of the lines I don't need. Just that one and that one. But here I have to trim because that line is a poly line. And there it is. So there is our square thread. Now let's just do some coloring to it. So I'm going to pick my green layer. Add some layer to it so the lines have some thickness to it. When I print. Okay, and the other one I'm just going to pick a color that's bright purple, magenta. I don't want to color all those. Same thing on the top. Okay, and then I'm going to pick my center line layer. Do that. It doesn't show because the line is too small. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to just do, uh, let's see if 116s work. 16s work. Yep, 116s work. And then the last bit that you have to do is hatch. So I'm going to hatch it there. Enter. And then make sure that I have that on my hatch layer. One hatch. And there that is. And now I have to go to my paper space and make sure. So I have pre preset paper spaces here so I'm gonna go to my A size one see I already have something there I'm gonna go find my screw screw right here I'm gonna highlight it I'm gonna put one to one scale 
Okay. I'm done. I'm going to adjust it and put it neatly inside my view. I'm going to put my name, put the part name, and then the scale, and I will then print to PDF. So you will print it to PDF and then save it to whatever location you want or you will print it outright. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know.